Hi guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see serverless application model, that's SAM. SAM is a template for uh, building, developing, and testing a serverless applications. SAM is also an extension, which is especially designed for handling a serverless components like API Gateway, Lambda Functions, DynamoDB, etc. In this demonstration, we'll see how to deploy Lambda function with dependencies, how to deploy API Gateway, testing the uh, application locally, and finally, we will package it and deploy to AWS account. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now we need to install SAM CLI on our laptops. I want to set up a SAM project on my MacBook, so I would like to follow the instructions for installing SAM CLI on macOS. I have followed these instructions and I have set my CLI on my MacBook. So in your case, right, you also just follow these instructions and make sure a SAM CLI is set up successfully. We need to have AWS account and we need to configure IEM permissions. Let's say I'm running SAM CLI on my laptop. On my laptop, I need to have access keys and secret keys configured so that SAM CLI will use that for deploying applications into our account. Installation of Docker is required. In sense, if you are testing your SAM application locally, Docker is a prerequisite. If you're not, doing any testing locally then docker is not required and this is i mean optional otherwise this is required only for mac OS. using homebrew on mac OS, we will install sam cli follow those instructions accordingly depending on where you want to set your uh, sam command line interface okay coming to this iam permissions Go to AWS Management Console and go to Identity and Access Management. Click on Users. Create a user with admin access and get access keys and secret keys. Use those keys on the laptop and using AWS CLI, configure them so that those access keys and secret keys are used by our SAM CLI for interacting with our AWS accounts for deploying serverless applications. It's kind of, uh, let's say SAM demo. I want to have programmatic access. Then go to adding a policy. I'm giving administrator access. Tax optional, skip them and hit create user. You're gonna get access key ID and secret access key from your terminal. Execute AWS configure, provide access key ID, secret key ID, the region default region followed by the output format. So once you have this, I already have this configured, so I don't want to do it again. Once we have this, let's set up a small workspace for our SAM application and let's create a hello world SAM application and see how to build, test locally and deploy to our AWS account. I created a folder on desktop, SAM demo. Inside this folder, I want to initialize my SAM application.
I call SAM in it. It's giving us two options, AWS Quick Start Template and second one, Custom Template. I wanna go with first option now. Then choose our Lambda function runtime. I wanna choose Python 3.8, so let's type two. Project name, it's coming up with a default name, but I wanna give my own custom name. It's kind of cloning a template, hello world template. Now we need to choose application templates from this. I would like to go with first option, which is hello world example. And that's all. Do ls. You could see Java Home app as a folder created by our SAM init command. Go into Java Home app folder and have a look of its folder structure. We have README, we have events, hello world folder, which is containing our Lambda function followed by if any dependencies used by lambda function those dependencies we need to uh, define inside requirements.txt template.yaml and for testing for unit testing especially we have a folder the scope of this demonstration is not to go into each and every folder and explain in detail the scope is how to quickly get started with a setting up a SAM application and how to build deploy into AWS account and how to test it locally. Let me open this folder in Visual Studio Code. Let's go over template.yaml. This is our cloud formation template, otherwise this is our SAM template, which is an extension to CloudFormation template. It has template version, description. There are some global variables. Uh, for example, we are using multiple Lambda functions, multiple API gateways, and we want to set some attributes, which is common for all Lambda functions in the stack. We use global uh, a globals variable and define things like timeout and so on. Then we have resources section and the resources section. Uh, we gave a logical name, hello world function and type of resources, serverless lambda function, properties in sense like how to deploy this function. Otherwise, where is the code for this function and the properties code URI which is giving a local folder path, which is containing uh, Lambda function code. The handler details, runtime, and the event section. We wanna call this Lambda function when a API is hit on this path. So events, again, a hello world is a logical name, type of resources API, and its properties of path, which is hello, and method okay and finally it has output section after deploying a stack we'll see these outputs in the console so this template is automatically created by sam cli okay so let's go to hello world folder app.py import lambda handler Okay, some code, and finally, it's returning a response. This is kind of a hello world lambda function, which is returning hello world back to our API gateway. First, let's see how to deploy this as it is. Here, our Python code, lambda function, I mean, doesn't have any external dependencies. Let's run this as it is. 
then let's uncomment this where we are using request module which is not built into python we need to install this explicitly we call it external module and we'll see how to package and deploy to aws account let's call sam build our build is successful it's giving details like build artifacts build template and so on if we want to deploy this to our aws account we could use this command see first of all we need to give few inputs this is one time activity stack name region confirm changes before deploy say yes allow sam cli i am role creation yes for this also yes again it's going to save all these arguments to sam config dot toml so that next time onwards it won't pop up these questions for us now it's initiating the deployment is giving back a cloud formation stack change set deploy this change set say yes i'll pause the video once the deployment is completed i'll be back all right stack got created successfully and we got back the api gateway url take that let me clear the screen use curl yes right so we're getting the response from api gateway api gateway in turn talking to our lambda function that's returning back hello world now let's see how to test our serverless stack locally the command is sam local invoke all right yes i am able to test it locally this will drastically uh, what is that uh, uh, reduce the time for developing applications and testing them locally it will speed up our development activity now let's do a changes to lambda function and redo what we did now first of all i want to uncomment this statement as you said it was is a python module it's external it's not built into our uh, python then we need to uncomment these lines all right we are using request module and we are making http get request to this url this returns back the ip address of uh, lambda function otherwise this returns back the ip address of uh, lambda functions runtime environment we are taking that ip and we are uh, putting that ip in our response body the main point here is to demonstrate how to package lambda functions which has external dependencies now let's go back to our terminal let's rebuild and deploy 
when we make changes to our code, we must rebuild. Then we need to deploy. It takes few seconds. I'll be back once deployment is done. It's deployed successfully. Let's use curl. And test it. Now we can see this IP coming back from our Lambda function to API Gateway. So when we ran SAM build, it automatically packaged our Lambda function with dependencies. And that is uploaded to S3 bucket and that's used for uh, deploying in AWS account. Let's have a look what are the changes it has done in our AWS account. We could see Java Home App API. In that, hello. It has a get method and it's integrated with its Lambda function. Let's open that in a new tab. Followed by the code. And you could see the dependencies automatically included. And when we test it locally, like SAM local invoke, a Docker is must. In my case, Docker is up and running. And make sure on your laptop, Docker is up and running when you do this command because without Docker installed, without Docker running, this command will not work. It uses Docker containers to test, otherwise to set up environments locally. And that's all from this video. Thanks for watching. And see you guys again in next video with more exciting content. Thank you.